All right, I'm doing another episode in my work pajamas. I have a friend, she's a workout coach, and she just started a seasonal workout called a boot camp or structure class. And the worst part about this boot camp, which I'm totally fine with a boot camp, but the worst part about a boot camp is that it starts at 5 a.m which means I have to see 4 a.m. So for those who don't know me a lot or know me at all, I'm not at all in any shape, form, or fashion a morning person. Getting up anytime earlier than the sun does not intrigue me. It's like stealing me away from the best part of my day. It's like stealing me away from something special my blankets and the heat between them. Now the only thing that could come out of it is that I worked out and I need to work out. But sometimes you just question if you need food to eat or if you need a job to work or a car to drive. So to get up out of my bed, to uncover myself from my blankets and my sheets, to put on tennis shoes and to put on sweats, to go outside, and to drive, to go work out. All of you people know, I don't like the cold. And then on top of that, I have to raise my heart rate. Those are like all the things that I hate to do and you put them together for a, a great community fest. It's like a nightmare, but it's for real. It's a real thing, like it's happening. She's been trying to get me to come to this class for a week. Uh, she called me last week at 4.10 in the morning saying, well, she didn't say anything because I didn't answer the phone. <laughs> but I saw that she was ringing me and I looked at it and then I was like, oh, I got a migraine and went to bed. I really did have a migraine. Some people think I didn't, but I really did have a migraine. So the next week she tries again and she said, you coming tomorrow, right? And I said, hey, she's like, you at least come to Wednesday or Friday class. So told her, yeah, I'll go. I still stayed up till 11 because I'm a night owl and I went to bed. And the next thing I know, I swear, I just closed my eyes. And the next thing I know, there's like Club Angie going on from my phone flashing and things calling me and music going off. And the worst thing about it is that she called me at like 3.45. Driving it, it was only 30 minutes. So all I needed was five minutes to put my life together. I slept in the gym clothes. I learned that the hard way last time I didn't. It was treacherous to say the least. Cause I, all I wanted to do was sleep <laughs> and I was outside and it was cold and I didn't want to do jumping jacks. I didn't want to do mountain climbers on the ground. I didn't want to do push-ups. I can't do push-ups. So making me do push-ups and I can't do them at 4 a.m. makes everything even worse. But yeah, afterwards I felt great, amazing, and I slept. I came home and slept about three hours. I slept over, you know what I'm supposed to. I felt amazing, I feel amazing. But yeah, thanks for listening to my early morning workout. I don't know about you, but do you like working out in the mornings? If you do, just shout, like, but like, that's not, early morning workout, because early morning workout are like 6 a.m.ers, 7 a.m.ers. This is like military early morning workout. And we were working out with weights, with the floor, with our bodies, and I was just like, someone come get me the pillow from the bed. I should be worshiping with brother pillows and sister sheets, because this is too much. Too much in the morning. But you know what? I got through it. And I'm here. I'm here now, so what's up? But I, I'm not guaranteeing Friday. So, you can have that.